Welp, here we are in the final area. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're gonna go and destroy things. Welcome back to Fail Juice 2. Because these fights are going to make like literally no time, I am just going to commentate over them. Wow. I say that and I immediately miss an attack. Okay. So, last episode. We went and we fought the last optional boss who was not very interesting, to be honest. Really? Why am I now missing, like, every attack? Accuracy, where are you? And he's guarding, too. Wow, so we're going to take another turn to win this fight. Never mind. The experience is worthless. I don't even need it anymore. I don't even need the XP anymore. But yeah, we went... Wait. Of course not. The shops are right there, and I can't do them. So I guess we're going to be thrown on a linear path. Yeah, I'm killing you first. I'm no fool. I know exactly what's going to happen here. Oh, damn it, Azura! Come on. I am not falling for that zero defense zero nonsense again. Oh, well, that money's dead. Alright. But yeah, the since we can't access shops, money is now worthless. Like, look at that! There's a shop right there! And I can't go to it! It'd be so nice if we can go to the damn shop and buy some items, but nope. And watch Vedanta be like the one place that secretly sells good items. And he, it's like, nope, you can't buy things here. Cause reasons. Wow, can I please like hit things? Thank you. Oh, level 45. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Hi, Ether! Okay. Uh, we can go either way, right? Yeah, we can go either way. Because it's like, what's the point in having these big maps if there's nothing to do on them? You can literally just make it a straight road at this point, because... All we're doing is we're going straight to the clock tower to go fight the final boss. How did that not kill you? There we go. But yeah, all we're doing is going straight to the end game. You know, I should probably just be using magic with Lucian because we have half MP. But yeah, it's like, why are these enemies even giving you money? Full potion. Nice. Two golden sands. Uh, we can go either way here. Let's fight you. And honestly, this is just mindless fighting at this point. This could have been a much more interesting section to where we had to sneak through these guys. If we wanted to engage them, we could. So that way the option at least existed. Instead, it's just fight generic enemies that die very easily because we're overpowered. Because if you do all the optional content, you literally will not lose. Like, okay, well, unless that happens. But yeah, for the most part, nothing should be hard. Alright, are we almost there? Cleansing herb. Oh. Okay, we had to go around. I don't know why we had to go around. Why couldn't we just walk straight through there? That was so unnecessary. Alright, well, this is two fights guaranteed. Sir, please! Alright, well, at least we killed two. 
Sun Spark. Oh. Okay, I don't care. Okay, now I kind of care. Willis, you need to hit him. There you go. Thank you, Willis. Oh, 45! Alright. But yeah, all these buildings we can't go into. Uh, you know, yeah, just do that. Alright, nice. This fight should be over. <laughs> nice crit, Willis. Alright, are we there yet? Wait, what? There's a gold chest there, but I can't get it! Well, I got more money. That's the last gold chest! And that's the thing that has Lucian's weapon in it. But we can't even get it! Oh, are we really gonna get swarmed by dudes? Wow. That is, that is annoying. Nice. Yes. Okay, perfect. He's dead. We can silence with Holy and with Starlight, but why would we ever need that? When we have three physical attacking moves. Have three heavy hitters now. Alright. Wait, what? Oh, well, that's it. It's right here. I should not have done that, because now I'm going to have to take at least two attacks. One attack. Never mind, zero attacks. Alright. Are we done? Lucy, it's level 45. Oh, okay, there we go. The blockades were turned off. Now we get. Where did these guys come from? Why were they not here earlier? Oh, well, well, we used the start key. We can get the angel staff, which probably sucks because we have the Vitalis stuff. Yeah, of course. The Vitalis stuff is the best weapon in the game. I don't know what to think of these things. So it's like, who's in control of... Oh. Who's controlling Vedanta since we killed Virgil in the last game? I don't think we ever get an actual answer to that. Alright, well, here we are. And we got samurai armor. Because, of course... Can I even use that, actually? Or is all my equipment too good for that? Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, it boosts Willis's agility in exchange for defense. What does this do? Oh, provides Grill Cog. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> the clock tower is almost engulfed by the black holes. Sidsley must definitely be here. Wow, look at this train wreck. Hi, Ether. Nice. So that means there are bound to be enemies in here, too. Select the floor. First floor, 25th floor, 50th floor, and 60th floor. I don't know why I decided to pick the highest floor. Oh, well, of course. Well, let's try the lowest four first. Okay, I see. A revive? Nice, because I can't... Because the best drop in the game is pretty much an Ek. And I want to go all the way... Dark Firebird and a Blind Eye. Well, actually, you want triple attack? Well, actually, no, I... Hold on. Do that. 
you attack, and we can Starlight. Because I'm going to assume all these enemies are weak to light, considering they're dark enemies. And they're just generally weak, because, you know... Just generally weak, because of course. Alright, what do we got? Gothic Shield. Uh-huh. Protect attack stat from lowering. Wow, yo, know, that'd be really useful if I didn't have the Vitalis stuff. And Willis can't even use the shield anymore, so I guess Azura's getting it. Well, that was... Really? Fuck off. So we need to go to the 50th floor, but I'm gonna go in... I'm going up to the top floor to restore my MP first. So we have to do something about this evil fire in order to get to the top floor. Kind of convenient that there's an elevator or a clock tower, though. Wait, what? Where's this? Let's see. Whoa! Gate key! Well, that's convenient. That's not convenient. I don't even need to fight enemies anymore, though. Alright, another elevator. Thir 10, 20, 30, and 40! Oh, God. Here we go. Alright, so where does this go? Whoa, what is this? This black hole seems different. What? Raikou Incarnate! What the hell is this? So there are actual boss fights. Okay, no like it matters. Let's just do the same strategies we've always been using and we win. <laughs> oh, of course he's guarding. Oh, just wait till I lower your stats, buddy. Okay, so I see the gimmick here. We had to use the gate key to find these holes and then we go fight these bosses. Don't know how Sitzlin's doing this, but whatever, am I right? Or am I right? <laughs> Alright, his defense is down, so he's basically fucked. Like, look at that damage. Look at this damage, he's fucked. This fight is free. I literally... <laughs> I lost my attack! Uh-huh. Yep, I see it. Alright. So I think... Let's try the 10th floor first. Access code? What the fuck? Alright, do they all need a code? Oh, yeah, I'm already on the Okay, so that explains a lot. That's why we need the key. Alright, let's go heal first. So we have to do multiple boss fights in order to reach the end, in order to fight Sinslin. Okay. Take full advantage of the fact there's a save point on the top floor. So we should go back to the 25th floor. So I'm expecting to fight four bosses, but there are five flames, which means there's five, probably five bosses. Alright. And we got... 30 of 4 access card. Alright, who's next? We have... Azura Incarnate! Wow! That... Okay. Same strategies apply. We don't need to do anything different. <laughs> well, at least we're going to see what these things are capable of, because Raikou Incarnate literally just got, like, erased. Didn't even get a chance to attack me. Alright, what do you got? Dark Blizzara! 
And of course it's a multi-target move. You know, the thing we don't have any of. Why is it that we never got a single multi-target attack in this game? Not counting triple attack or double attack? Like, a multi-target magic attack, I mean. Because all our attacks are single target. Azura can now use the overdrive high tide. Isn't that the move that Gander had? Why are we getting overdrives literally at the last area of the game? With Raikou, it made sense, thematically, that he got an overdrive from conquering his evil entity. Like, at least there it made sense, but now we're just literally just giving things to people? Why didn't we get this when we fought Gander the second time? It could have gave Azura some kind of revelation or something. And then she would have learned the overdrive that Gander had. Or how, after the whole thing with Amara, Lucian could have gotten a new overdrive. Alright, so these codes are probably all in the items, so I have to check it. Uh, 482. But instead, we're just gonna hand them over like they're nothing. Golden Sand. Okay. This place is very clearly falling apart. Alright, what do we got here? Tenth floor access card. Alright, for what's up here? Oh, yep, here we go. Boss fight. Drain Incarnate! Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, well, we actually got something new, at least. Not like I'm going to change my strategy whatsoever, though. <laughs> we don't need to. This is the winning solution. Don't even bother using your overdrives until we fight the final boss. Alright, what are you gonna do? Barrier. Oh, it's that stupid move again! It's physical reflect. Well, I guess we do have to use magic now. Because physical reflect. So what did this do? Wow, we actually got a multi-target move! <laughs> yeah, we actually do have to use magic this time because barrier is a physical reflect. So this fight's actually going to take longer simply because physical reflect. That's stupid. And he's immune to status, so, you know, he's actually got to do something. Wow, what a shocker. Actually, hold on. He's quick. Alright, perfect. Wait, there are five flames, but Lucian isn't a deity. Trade makes sense that he has one because he was aligned with Sinslin. So are we going to have to fight like Ciara? Bose can I use the Overdrive Storm? <laughs> like I said, we could have had some kind of thematic moment here. But nope, instead, we're not getting that at all! Alright, real quick. Gonna go back and heal first, because I want to keep my MP up. I mean, I know I don't have to go and heal every time we do a boss fight, but, you know, who cares, right? <laughs> Like, the fact that we don't have any, like, super special thing going on with this final area, it just kind of shows just how generic this whole thing is. We're just going and stopping the big bad guy who we know basically nothing about. But I'm going to save my complaints about the general story structure for later. 
ultraviolet. Yeah, so goodbye. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to save my general complaints about the story structure for later. So, Axis 410. 739. Alright, so we still need 420. Oh, there's a hole. 440. And an Ultra Potion. And that's it? Nothing else? Wow. 410 sucks. Alright, 440 is 915. Alright, what do we got? Valhalla, which obviously is going to suck. And of course, it's not a weapon for Zara. Wow, that's a shocker. It's a weapon for Willis. But it sucks compared to Gaia, so we're not using it. More ultraviolets. We don't need to fight enemies anymore. Okay, here we are. No rock? What? You mean the one character who had, like, no plot significance? At all? And he has more health than the others? Like, I got reusing old sprites, but still. This guy had literally zero plot significance, aside from killing the king. Outside of that, he was basically the single most worthless character in the first game. And I say that honestly. He was literally a plot device. He served no purpose other than to make the plot happen. And if he didn't make the plot happen, then we wouldn't have had a game because nothing would have happened to kickstart the plot. So let's see what Storm does real quick. Can cause confusion, AKA it just does damage because we're going to be fighting nothing but bosses who are immune to statuses. Speaking of statuses, why is it that we... Once Ciara died, we lost access to Poison and Blind forever. Okay. So what, 420 is worthless then? And Lucian can now use Full Restore, which heals all, all HP and status effects in another certain series. What does it do? Aha! Fully restores and raises positive stats for all allies, aka it's basically a buff. So that's it then? That was it! So, at the end of this, is Sinsulin, right? You know what? I think... I know that it's a bit early and we basically just went through this tower and it took like no time at all because we're level 45. But I think we're gonna end it there. Because if I'm right, Sinsulin's up ahead and after that we're going to be immediately thrust into the final boss fight. So, I want to do the final boss in a separate video. So next time, we're going to go and kill Sitzlin, and probably whatever the final boss is. So I will see you then.